Hey, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a video today on how I keep these guys cool in the summer. We are in the middle of a heat wave here in Florida. Highs getting around 95, 96 degrees, and out here in the straight sun, it's probably even hotter. I wanted to go over my run and just show you some of the things I've done. Um, here's their coop. You guys have seen me build this a couple years back. It needs a fresh paint job, so don't criticize it too much. She's going up to lay an egg. Uh, they have a big space out here. Um, it needs all needs fresh paint, so don't criticize me on that. But they get this whole area to use as a run, and then we let them out for four hours at the end of the night every night, and they get to free range out there in the yard as long as they don't mess up our plants. But what we have, I'm going to go over a couple of things. One of the things we have for our hawk protection, because there's a lot of hawks out here, is this massive bougainvillea. They love to hang out under that bougainvillea especially when it's hot out so if i take you over here show you what i mean here's their little hangout spot right up here next to the building here and here's the big old bougainvillea that's just completely taken over and we made them that chicken bench a couple months back they hang out on that they have this whole area back here to use a shade which is considerably cooler but this video is about how to keep them cool. We give them a lot of water and all that kind of stuff every single day, uh, which is, you know, normal chicken maintenance. But to do what I've noticed that works really well is this thing that I put in a couple, about two years ago, and they love it. And I do it every summer. It's this pipe you see here, and I call it a chicken misting system, but really at its, at its heart and soul is these little tiny brass nozzles and here's the only maintenance item you're gonna have to do if you do this system these guys right here are on Amazon these and it just kicked on automatically so you can see here in a second all the mist they just spray a fine mist throughout you can see them kind of going there and that mist travels all the way across this sunny side of the run so what it does is it just considerably cools the air down below them and it's not so much to where they get wet it's just a light light mist and we've noticed that when this is on we get a lot more eggs in the summer they tend to be a lot happier um just a, just a lot see she's coming out to kind of check it out they love it like you'll see here that's that's Sonia. She's our Rhode Island Red. She loves this this misting system. It also encourages more like little creepy crawlers to come to the surface that they can eat. So it's really cool. So I'm going to show you what I did. Uh, you're going to need to replace those brass nozzles every season. Um, it seems like every season when we start using it again, they're all kind of, well, I'll show you what they look like. They're in my pocket. They're supposed to be all shiny and, and brass looking like that. And since the hole is so tiny, after one season, they kind of look like that. They're all crappy and they get rusty and, you know, they're not great, but it's only 12 bucks for pretty much two seasons. So you get, you get a, a lot of them in there. Now, the way I have this automatic is it's just a simple pipe hooked up to the water source that I have out here. But the heart and soul of the system is this little Mr. Timer. And uh, I think I'll, I'll try to find this. I know I got this on Amazon. I'll try to find it. The battery it takes AA battery in here. Seems to last two two full years before it even has to be replaced, and it's on all the time. And basically, right now it's 109. I have it turn. I have it set to turn the misting system on at 108 and run it for 240 minutes. So you know you get four hours of 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 runtime on the program schedule, which is nice. And I just have it running on the hottest part of the day, and then it'll kick off, and then it'll turn back on again tomorrow. The, I put a little um, canister filter down there just to kind of filter any uh, particles out of the water, but it runs through a main house filter first before it even gets here. Um, just some of the pipe gets kind of algae-ish. You know, a lot of this green stuff is from, you know, being under this big oak tree. So, you know, you do have your fair share of maintenance. I got to get out here with the pressure washer this weekend. But once the, um, once the system is set up, it's self-sufficient. It really does keep them cool. And if you could take some of our advice, we have our, we still have our original chickens from uh, four years now, over four years ago. 
and I think their saving grace has been a combination of this coupe, which has seen better days and needs to be cleaned up. Painting it white in Florida is not a good idea, but uh, we've modified some things. I took off the side nesting box, installed a rear nesting box. They love that. Um, they go up nice and high at night. They, they all roost in there. That keeps them safe. They're surrounded by a privacy fence and then this high six foot uh, chicken fence. So they're pretty well protected from any critters. Now we do have our occasional stray cats and stuff that like to come out here, but our dogs are always in and out and they tend to scare those away luckily. Um, but yeah, this is this has been pretty good. Our, I would say our biggest threat around here are raccoons at night and hawks during the day. So this this bougainvillea has been has I swear proven to be very effective in those aerial attacks where you know a hawk would come down and swoop and try to get one of them. They're always under this thing. Um, and they, you know, hawks kind of buzz around. I'll see hawks kind of hanging out up here and they don't really touch it. I don't think they want to deal with getting in there. Now, I don't want to jinx myself, but that's what I think. We've had them for over four years now. So you can see, you know, the misting systems do kind of wet everything down nicely. They hang out back there. They want to get a little fresh, cool air they can come through the run they can go over their ground watering system they can go into their bowls they can go in their coop where we have water so that's just kind of my tips i wanted to share that because i know i picked up a lot of subscribers when i did the chicken coop build video and i do get a lot of people especially in the summer asking me you know does this work does that work so i just wanted to sum it up with a video so anyways guys thanks for watching remember to subscribe and i will get you on the next video